our second lecture uh, has a, a next training objectives general principle of dynamic positioning definition of dynamic positioning uh, that's what we are going to establish at the first uh, minutes of the lecture number two the six freedoms of movement state which of the six freedoms of movement are controlled under dp and which are monitored the very important part of our training is to determine which axes are controlled by dp vessel and which are not environmental forces state which of the six freedoms of movement are controlled under dp and which are monitored elements of the dp system then principal dp block diagram with the uh, main elements of dp and uh, statements connected with the dp redundancy and class requirements at that lecture we are going uh, to find out on what principles based assigned class of your dp vessel so in other words we will find out what is the difference between class 1 2 and the 3 dp vessel Any physical body, when placed in unstable water environments, may be moved on six degrees of freedom, forward and back, up and down, from right to left, and may also roll from side to side, and may be rotated against of vertical axis in any direction. But concern to DP theory, we have uh, our vessel, in water environments which may be moved on next six degrees of freedom first what we have is a movement on surge axis and it means that surge is a forward and backward motion of a vessel sway means the sideward motion of a vessel Yo that is the directional motion of a vessel about its vertical axis. Pitch, the rotational motion of a vessel about its transverse axis. Roll, the rotational motion of a vessel about its longitudinal axis. Heave, the upward and downward motion of a vessel. Please remember those main six degrees of freedom for movement of the vessel because uh, at any dp system you will try to control the stated axis and you have to remember the names for them 